There are so many health and fitness products out there and I feel like it can be kind of hard to navigate the space. Some products are insanely expensive, but you really don't need them. Others, well, you get what you pay for. So today I want to share some of my favorite health and fitness products that are under a hundred dollars that I think the vast majority of people could benefit from. Now real quick I want to mention these are my opinions. This is my list that I've come up with. No one is paying me to say anything. But without further ado, I have different categories of products and the first one I guess is more fitnessy. So the first product I want to share, long looped resistance bands. They come in different sizes and there's so many uses for them. And I love that they don't take up much room. I really like using them for assisted pull-ups, especially if you're somebody who's learning how to pull up. <laughs> That's a really bad demonstration. Now the ones that I have aren't being made anymore, which is a bummer because I would recommend them. But because I can't do that and that does you no good, I found a set of four on Amazon, 40 bucks normally, but as of recording this video, they're on sale for $26, but they've received a lot of very positive reviews and feedback, so I think they're worth checking out. My next fitness product would be dumbbells and or kettlebells. We're just gonna combine them into one. Like resistance bands, there's a lot that you can do with them. And the stronger you get, the heavier the dumbbells and kettlebells need to be, and then the more expensive they are. It's an investment that you could get the adjustable dumbbells, but that is over a hundred dollars. And if they're not over a hundred dollars, they're probably very poor quality. That is a hypothesis. I have not tested this out, but this is when I think quality matters. For dumbbells, you ideally want a pair, so the cost is going to go up fairly quickly. I did find a nice set of 20 pound dumbbells from Amazon that will run you about 60 bucks. Kettlebells ranging from five to 50 pounds it's gonna cost you between 13 and 65 bucks. Now, if you feel comfortable, I would recommend checking out Facebook Marketplace. People are selling fitness equipment all the time and you can get some very good deals on dumbbells and kettlebells, but you may be looking for a while. The final product in this vague category of fitness well, you have options, either a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball. Both of these are great tools for helping break up knots in your muscles. A tennis ball is going to provide a gentler massaging experience, but if you need the heavy duty experience, lacrosse ball, this boy is dense. But you can get three tennis balls for like five bucks on Amazon. And if you're thinking, Laura, I don't need three tennis balls. Well, you could use two Put them in a sock, tie off the sock, and use that to massage your back, the muscles along your spine. I know, it's great. Or you could use this to massage your feet. You could do whatever the heck you want. You could put googly eyes on it. That's not what this is about, I'm rambling. Now you can get one lacrosse ball for $4 at Dick's Sporting Goods. You just need one, and they're fun to bounce. Let's move on. The next category, hydration. But I would recommend having a nice, high quality water bottle. I'm a huge fan of water bottles. In fact, I have a slight obsession with them. If you've watched any of my other videos, you have probably seen one of these water bottles. This is a Beaker. I assume it's called Beaker. It's B-K-R, that's the brand. I'm calling it Beaker. This guy, it's great. I just, I really like the mouth opening that it's small, so I'm not gonna get water all over my face. I wouldn't recommend this. The main reason being that this does not fit into a standard sized cup holder, and that is kind of frustrating. However, that doesn't stop me from using them because I do really like drinking out of glass. I would recommend this Yeti 18 ounce Rambler with a chug cap. This guy runs at $30. There's the beaker. I think this is 16 ounces. It's 500 milliliters, I can't do that conversion in my head. This is $38, it's, it's a lot, I know. And a Hydro Flask at 16 ounces is gonna be 33 bucks. I do personally like the design and the feel of the Yeti over the Hydro Flask and just, it's so nice, I really like it. <laughs> but I think 18 ounces is a good size for you to bring around throughout the day, but you don't have to fill it up all the time and also this does fit in a standard size cup holder. Yay. But you know, there's more to hydration than just drinking a lot of water. So I would recommend a good electrolyte mix. Now this all comes down to personal preference, but I would recommend Element. 
There's no sugar, there's just sodium, potassium, magnesium. I would suggest trying a variety pack if you've never purchased their products before. That way you can try a bunch of different flavors, see if you like any of them, or hey, maybe it's not your thing. But if you don't want something super salty, there are other options out there for you. Liquid IV is a very popular option. This is a strawberry flavor. This is the only flavor I've tried. It's pretty good. I actually think Element tastes better and there is sugar in here, so it's not my preferred, but it's pretty decent. There are two other brands that kept coming up as recommendations and that's Gnarly and Scratch. I have not tried them, so I can't speak to whether or not I like them, but I think they're worth mentioning, so there you go. The final category is sleep something I am incredibly passionate about and very protective of. So the first product I wanna talk about are these ridiculous looking things. These are blue light blocking glasses. Now if you look at your phone, TV, your computer, any sort of screen, if you have the lights on, all of that blue light exposure at night can ultimately suppress your melatonin production, which you need to sleep. There are a lot of different blue blockers out there and I would suggest getting the red and orange lenses because these are gonna be the ones that block the most blue light. If you don't wanna be that intense, you can get the yellow lenses. But the clear lenses that are out on the market, while yes, they may be technically blue light blocking, but they're not going to block enough of the blue light. The ones that I have are from True Dark. They've run for about 80 bucks and they've been great quality and I really like them. Um, they're not the most attractive, but that's not really the goal. And you know what, I should mention that if you wanna swap out your light bulbs at night with like red or orange, uh, I actually, look at this, boom. Uh, this was a Halloween light, and I just have it by my bedside. I honestly don't know how expensive it was, but I can tell you it was under $100. Now there's a time and a place for blue light, and that is in the morning when you wake up and throughout the day. So if you're somebody who wakes up before the sun comes up, or it's winter time, or both, I would recommend a happy light. Now ideally, you get sunshine within the first hour of waking, but this is a great alternative if that is not an option for you. But this thing is very bright. It's it's like daylight. I should mention that this is also a good option if you work a desk job or you're, you're in an office, you're in a place where you're not exposed to a whole lot of daylight throughout the day. Now this is an old model. I don't think they make these anymore. I think the ones they make are better, but the brand is Verilux. Now I know that Verilux, their lights are 10,000 lux and that's the minimum that you're looking for. If you are looking at other brands, just keep that number in mind. Verilux's cheapest option is around 40 bucks, but they have so many other options that are under $100 that are worth checking out. Well, speaking of light, I am running out of it because it is getting late, so this is a sign I need to wrap things up. But I do have a final product that I wanna recommend, and that is a magnesium supplement. You need magnesium to create melatonin in your body. And a lot of us, most of us, are deficient in magnesium. There are lots of different kinds of magnesium and a lot of these supplements out on the market, like the cheaper ones, that's gonna help you poop better. That's great if you need that, but if you want it for sleep, you're kinda SOL. I would recommend a magnesium supplement that has magnesium glycinate and is also third-party tested. And so everything that I'm about to bring up is third-party tested. I do wanna make that clear. What's worked for me personally, and this is all, it's a very personal thing, but I really like Mellow from Ned. You just put it in water, it tastes good, they have some different flavors. Now this has three different types of magnesium in it, but it also has L-theanine and GABA, which also help uh, with sleep. Now I've also tried MagTech from Natural Stacks. There are also three different kinds of magnesium in here. I know a bunch of people who have tried this and they love it and it's great and it works for them. For me, it doesn't. When I wake up in the morning, I feel groggy and I don't like that. And I don't feel that way with the mellow. So I'm staying over here. That is it, we made it through the list. That is everything that I recommend, health and fitness related, under $100. Now, of course, there are plenty of other things that I could recommend and would recommend, but I wanted to focus on quality products, but also some stuff that isn't always covered in these types of videos. And 
like I said in the beginning, this was my list. So I want to know your thoughts and if you have any product recommendations or products to stay away from, let me know in the comments. I hope you liked this video and I've picked out a few others that I thought you might enjoy. So I will see you in the next one.